This is Frank Valenti with EXP in Northern California. Welcome to our video blog. And today I'm going to talk about a great topic, how to correctly advise a seller on how to price that home correctly out the gate when you take that listing. Okay, so you got a great lead on a listing. You got a chance to get a listing. The market's changing, and the worst thing you can do is take an overpriced listing. It's miserable. So let's talk about how you can advise that seller and how you could, as you analyze the market for that home. And this is a, these are the factors that I look at, kind of coming at from like an appraiser point of view. So the first thing I'm going to look at is location. And as I pull my comparable homes, I want to get that radius of homes as tight as possible. So say an urban area, dense populated homes, probably looking at under a quarter of a mile. Maybe a, a, a suburban area, half a mile to another mile. If I'm going out into rural areas, it may be one to three to five miles or more. So you, you're going to be the best judge of that because as you get further away, other things start to change. Who the builder was, the age of the home, how the home was constructed. So start with as tight of a radius as you, can, as you can get when you're pulling your first set of comparable homes. Next, look at the age of the home, okay? I like to use a rule of thumb, plus or minus 10 years. Why? You know, say a home that was built in 1970 with T111 sidings, eight foot ceilings, a composite roof, is vastly different than a home that was maybe even built 20 years ago with 12 foot ceilings, a tile roof, stucco exterior so again plus or minus 10 years is going to help you get the style of the house and the, and the quality of construction similar next is square footage and here i'm looking at plus or minus 10 percent so say a 2000 square foot home i'm going to try to pull comparable homes maybe 16 1700 1800 to no more than maybe 22 2300 okay i'm trying to bracket the size of that home. Condition, okay? If you see a home and it has a lot of deferred maintenance repairs, you have to discount that going out the gate. Right? You have to in today's market. And finally, is gonna be the timing of when that home's gonna hit the market and what's going on with the market for that home and when you get the home on the market. Is there lots of other homes? on the market there's more homes coming on the market so you gotta you want to be leading the market okay as the market's changing you want to be ahead of the market not behind the market if you got questions on this please call text or email and have a great day